Hi guys, it's Spoony, and this is my review for the game Brotato. If I don't sound too enthusiastic, it's because I'm not. Okay, so this is a game that's available on basically every platform right now. It just came to Xbox and PlayStation earlier this year. I'm playing it on Xbox through Game Pass, which is great because this is not something I would want to spend my money on. The game is a top-down shooter that controls with a single stick, which means that uh, it basically auto-fires at the enemies for you. You face wave after wave of enemies, and the game features a roguelike game system, which means that there are different weapons and passive items that you can collect and purchase through the store, and um, there's a lot of RNG, random number generation, going on there. So um, no two runs you play will ever be quite the same, just because you're not going to have access to the same stuff. Now you might be saying to yourself, Spoony, that game sounds exactly like Vampire Survivors. And it is, but Vampire Survivors is way better, and you should just play that. Where Vampire Survivors has dozens of interesting characters with their own unique designs, and there's actually some lore for the characters, this game also features dozens of characters, but they're pretty much all identical, just with minor variations like glasses or a top hat or something. And the only real difference between them is their starting modifiers, but depending on your playstyle, you can use the same build for pretty much every run. The visuals in the game are a complete disappointment. The map you can see me running around here is the only map in the game. Now, there is a character, I think it's the older man character, who gets a uh, smaller map size. And then there's another character who gets a larger map size, but it looks the same. And speaking of the same, there are maybe a total of six different enemy types, and that includes the Wave 20 boss. There's just not enough variety there, and they don't even have, like, tougher versions of the characters that they could even just do, like, a basic color swap. Rather than making different enemies, they just throw more of them at you in the later waves. Now, this is an inexpensive game. I think it costs about 7 Canadian dollars on the Microsoft Store. The thing is, Vampire Survivors only costs like five fifty. I don't really want to make this entire video just me singing the praises of Vampire Survivors, but it is a really good game. Um, if you're playing that and you're thinking about this, just stick with that and hope for some more content to drop soon. If you haven't played Vampire Survivors and you're curious about this game, just go play Vampire Survivors. I think this game took me about 33 hours altogether to get the full 1000 out of 1000 gamer score, or the Platinum Trophy. Um, that is actually probably the strongest reason I would recommend this game. The achievements and I presume the trophies, because they're the same um, unlocks on both platforms, are really easy to earn. Um, you can get one in pretty much less than half an hour a day for very minimal gameplay. So if you're somebody that, for whatever reason, you like to have, like, streaks, I know one time without trying, I, I think I got about on a uh, almost six-month streak, getting at least one achievement a day. Anyways, play this game if you have time to kill, if you're looking for an easy uh, full game completion, or if you, like I said, just want to keep up a daily streak going. Okay, since there's really nothing else to say about this game, I'm going to end it here. Let me know if you've played the game and your thoughts. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.